Well, well, well. Hey there, guys. Welcome to the live look. And uh, I've actually just turned off the Cavaliers Celtics game. There's no point on watching that game. Uh, just like I said, the Celtics were going to win. Uh, Celtics dominated at home. I don't know why the fuck you guys would think the Cleveland Cavaliers would dominate away on game one. Uh, maybe Cleveland will win, but let's be real. Uh, yeah, next game's gonna be one of those games where LeBron comes out to play and he's going crazy and he's trying so hard in the beginning and they go up by fucking 20 and fucking Boston can't come back and it's a problem and they'll probably win that game. I'm gonna say game two goes to Cleveland. I'm just gonna say that right off the bat. I'm fucking sick of it because I know LeBron's just trolling us right now. He's just saying, oh yeah, we're gonna give him game one, let him get overhyped. So they come out game two. I know what's gonna happen. But I did watch this game up until now. I think there's like five minutes left. No more point of watching this fucking game. Game sucks dick. Uh, LeBron, basically, what I'm starting to realize watching these games is that in the very fucking beginning, LeBron actually uh, attempts to win, you know? So it's just two things that can happen. In the very beginning, he decides whether he's going to most likely win that game or not. Uh, there's games where he comes out and he starts really fucking tough and it's like, holy shit, uh, he's just going in, you know, like the team goes up by a million, the role players make their shots and it's just crazy great. They probably go up by like 20 or 30, the other team can't come back, game over, you know, like they just can't come back throughout the game and the lead gets too big and oh shit, it's over. Then there's the other LeBron team. That comes out and LeBron just kind of plays. I'd say it was more like today, you know. He just comes out. He's not ball. He's not on ball playing. He's just kind of, you know, like chilling. If he's open, he'll get the ball. If not, it's okay. And I think that's what actually uh, happened today. You know, he plays like that. He's just not going to win. He could win if he plays like that. If the role players were playing like a pretty good game. But today, the role players were sucking dick. I mean, the beginning of the... After the half, J.R. Smith went like 1 for 8. Like, I mean, come on. They were 0 for 13 from the 3, the whole team. At the half. What the fuck does that mean? Come on. Like, this is the team that's supposed to go to the finals and play the Warriors. Like, oh, I'm sorry. Like, the fucking Warriors aren't going to go to the finals, right? But uh, this is the team that's supposed to come out and play the Warriors. Like, who the fuck? Like, come on. And just like I said, the Celtics are good. Like, don't fucking say... I'm giving credit to the Celtics. Celtics really came out and played a good-ass game. Showed what they were about, even though they were really young. I mean, Jason Tatum didn't even have that crazy great of a game. But Al Horford took his... You know, he, he fucking made his shots. He, he made his contribution. Al Horford really playing well there in this playoff run, I can't lie. Had a really good game against uh, the 76ers, and now he's had, he just had a great game one against the, the Cavs. Jalen Brown, really good too, you know? That's what I'm saying. All these really young players are stepping up, and it's all teamwork with them. That's the great beauty of Brad Stevens. This is all teamwork. Nobody's just playing to be better than the other player. I don't get it. That's how you don't fucking win, and that's what I love. I love the fact this team is playing great. And if they can just beat LeBron, you know, obviously, you can, I, I'm dope that they would do better playing uh, playing the Warriors than LeBron would have this year, in my opinion. I think they would win a game or two instead of, you know, I think LeBron would win a game or lose all four. But the Celtics would do better, especially with that coaching, you know. So... I mean, I give them credit. I definitely give them credit. That whole team has stepped up with their two best players being out. Brad Stevens is a great coach. Fuck LeBron. Fuck the Cavs. They're so sick. They don't have a team. Their fucking role players can't even play. George Hill's a fucking bitch, nigga. Uh, who else? Cal Corder, I don't mind. But all you can do is shoot threes. Like, come on, bro. Rodney Hood doesn't even want to play. He's a bitch. Go back to Utah in the middle of fucking nowhere and be nothing. The fuck? Uh, who else? Who the fuck else? Who's on that shitty ass team that I keep seeing? K Love is good. I'll give him I'll give credit to him. He's not a bad player. Definitely the second best player. Makes better fucking free throw percentage than fucking LeBron. So fuck yeah, he's good. 
other than that, who the fuck is on there? Like, let me think. Oh, God, who's on that shit awful team now that starts? Jeff Green? No, Jeff Green sucks too. Who's their fucking... I'm trying to think. Larry Nance, he's ass. Jordan Clarkson sucks dick. That's like bench players, obviously. I'm trying to think here. Like, come on. These players all suck. They have nobody. I'm trying to think of their third best player. Who the fuck is it? Who's the third best player on that fucking team? Nobody. Like, and I watch all these games. I'm not fucking, like... I'll fucking prove it to all of you. I watch every fucking game this playoff season run. Been watching every game, every playoff series. Fuck that shit. LeBron's, LeBron's great. But I'm so sick of this. Like, stop. You, this nigga thinks he's gonna come out of nowhere and go to the final and, like, what? Just wanna make it to the final? Just prove that you're better than a shitty-ass conference that has no players? Fucking DeMar DeRozan. Doo-doo. Doo-doo. <laughs> but, uh, I just think it's retarded. I think this series, though, is gonna be very competitive. I don't think at all that LeBron is just gonna slow down, you know? That's bullshit. But this series is gonna be huge. Uh, game two, I think, will definitely go to the Cavs. And like I said, there's just gonna be a battle throughout. But the Celtics have shown tonight that they have, or today, they have shown today that they have what it takes to take it away from Cleveland. Like, if they can just want it enough, it's all about who wants it more at the end. They've shown you that they can do it. They've shown you they can come out and fucking fry. And with the fact that they are have they have the home field advantage, home court advantage, that means that they can go all the way to game seven and fry and have that home court advantage. They can do it. So... Honestly, I'm just very curious in seeing what's going to happen. Uh, I just wanted to give you guys that update on my opinion on it. I think the Celtics are doing really good. They're going to be really good next year. I'm really just hoping LeBron... I'm, one thing I'm so sick of hearing is, oh, he went to like eight straight finals, seven straight... I don't even know how many fucking finals it was. I just keep hearing that shit every time. Like, you can't say a man who went to all these finals. Shut the fuck up. That means nothing now. It's over. I hope Boston goes. Boston can play the Warriors losing like fucking five or six and that'll be it. Like, who gives a fuck, you know? It's fine. But uh, I'm glad you guys watched this. And uh, I'll keep you guys updated on the Warriors game tomorrow. I'm going to be making videos every day. I'm going to try and keep you guys updated on everything that keeps going on in sports. Uh, please make sure to follow my Instagram. Uh, it's Gianliv, G-I-A-N-L-I-V. Uh, that'll be in my description. And my Twitter is uh, at the live look. So pretty simple to find me there. Uh, I try and keep that updated as much as possible too. I have a Facebook at the live look. Um, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much everything I use. Keeping your phone updated here. You guys can... Please comment, let me know what you guys think. Um, let me know if you guys would like me to do something different. I'm willing to do anything for, well, you know, for sports, uh, really into everything. I really want to kick off some talking about soccer and uh, the NBA is getting interesting now that it's like getting close to an end. NFL uh, off season, you know, slowly will get more and more interesting. I'll try and keep you guys updated on that. I'm gonna try and keep you guys Updated at least once a day once a, a video a day if I can keep more if I can make more and be better But I want to keep you guys updated at least once a day on what's going on in sports media and uh, Like I said just smash the like button subscribe let everybody know uh, And thank you guys for listening. Uh, see you guys later